Hello, my dearly beloved Ukrainian friends. The Carter Report team in the United States of America and in Australia send you greetings and love. We want you to know you are continually in our thoughts and in our prayers. To the leaders of the church in Ukraine, in the beautiful city of Kiev, we send you our love. We send you our support. We send you our prayers. To our beloved friends with the Hope team, Pastor Krupski, all of his team members, all of them, to our beloved church members, wherever you may be, we send you our love and our support and our greetings. We send our love to the people in Kharkov and Zaporozhye and Nepropetrovsk and Odessa, Kiev, every place. We want you to know we have never, never had you out of our prayers for one moment. We pray for you continually and we stand with you during this time of national emergency. Here is a text I'm going to read to you from the book of Isaiah. And we, the Carter Report team, dedicate this to our leaders and our church members in Ukraine. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. Listen, my friends. Verse 4, And they shall rebuild the old ruins. They shall raise up the former desolations and they shall repair the ruined cities, the desolations of many generations. Verse 7 says, Instead of your shame, you shall have double honour. And instead of confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess double. Everlasting joy shall be upon them. We want you to know today that God is with us and God is with you, my friends. You have been brave, brave soldiers of the cross. You could have run away, but you have remained firm to fight the battles of the Lord and to do the greatest work in all the world. And that is the preaching of the gospel of Christ. To all of our church members, we say to you today, stand firm in Christ because Jesus is Lord and the King is coming. We congratulate the Hope team on the establishment of the new media centre. We are proud of you. We are glad that we've had a small part in the establishment of this important evangelism centre. And as you dedicate it to God, we stand with you and we call upon God to bless the Evangelism Centre and to bless the Hope Team and the team of our beloved brothers and sisters right across the great land of Ukraine. I recall the words also of Scripture 
where Jesus said in Hebrews, I will never, never leave you nor forsake you. Our message from the word of God is firm. God is with us and we shall overcome and we shall triumph. And so today, may the Spirit of God bless you. You are not forgotten. You are not alone. Christ is with you and the Spirit of God is with you to bless you and to save. The best days are still to come. And so, my dear friends, into the hands of Almighty God, we commit you today. And we say the great words of the great prophet Moses to the people of Israel. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace this day and forevermore. And we add the words in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Peace and grace be unto you for Jesus' sake.